Hi guys, uh, we're finally going to open the booster box of Battle Stars, which is from the, well, this is going to be a part two of the last video that I posted where I opened a few packs. So we're going to get into the booster box. Um, I've got some sleeves here to have to sleeve the cards because I'm trying to complete a binder. And I believe I've only got 67 cards left, but obviously most of them are going to be secret rares. But we'll see what I get out of this box. And just hopefully it's not duplicates because if it's duplicates, then well, that will suck. So we'll get the packs out of the box when I can get that. Here we go one side and two side and now watching Omar open boxes is pretty cool because he'll do like a left side versus right side so I might do the same thing because I'm actually curious how they pack the boxes which is a bit weird to say but we'll start with the right side so we'll just get through the packs here and I know I'm missing pretty much all the rainbow rares but not the flapple um, so we obviously giving a code card for every pack. And lightning energy. Karina's focus. Perugly. Haunch crow. Cornfish. Cancia. Moal. Spoink. Reverse Pavilion. And the Falling. I'm actually think I'm missing this card actually. So we'll sleeve any that are Pretty much V cards and V maxes, but I'll sleeve them all later anyway. So I don't know if it's actually any point me doing that, but we'll see. So again, the code cards I'm pretty sure don't mean much in terms of what colours on the back, but I mean we'll see because I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I need that card too. Oh, I need to zoom in so you can actually see the card. Hound, no, I need a hound. The gold hounding looks awesome. I need that primate as well. So we might we might get further into completing the the set. I'm trying to get the reverse hollows as well. So I believe you class it as a master set when you get the reverse hollows. If I, you lot are probably gonna hate how I open these packs, but I'm pretty sure you um class it as a master set if you can have the reverse hollows so I'm actually trying to I'm back to back sleeving the cards um, see a little glow in the back there um, but I'm sleeving them before I back to back them so hopefully it keeps the cards intact orange go reverse and ooh an Ashview V single strike I definitely need that well I can work out the sleeve opening so the right side already off to a good start with a V. Uh, four packs in. Sorry, three packs in. Right? Yeah, three packs in we got a V card. If I can get a gold card out of this box, it'd be so cool. Now it's gonna be the moment of truth whether the cold cards actually mean something because I got two greens and didn't get anything, and then my white, I actually got something. Ooh, there we go, reverse phalanx. Oh, I need glaring rhyme as well, so that's pretty cool. So we will actually start completing some of the set, I'd imagine, after this box. Because I, I, I'm missing a few of the commons as well, so I'm hoping after this box I should... I should only have about... 30 cards left. I mean worst case scenario I'll just I will just buy them. Especially like I'd love to pack obviously the gold hound doom and stuff, but if I can't and I'm only missing a couple of the cards, then I guess I'll just have to buy them. Blitbug, looks ray. They're in slow bro. Cause what what I'm planning to do with the master set is well I'm trying to complete the set before I can't get into this pack. Before going for the master set, I'm just trying to also complete the standard set and then get all the reverse hollows. Because I've, I've got a few reverse hollows. Um, and I'll go through the set after and 
try and match all the reverse hollows into the standard cards. Bell Sprout, Onyx, Spiro, Reverse Spupa, and I'm missing that card as well. Sandaconda, Hollow. Oops. There's going to be a lot of duplicate cards that I just have no need for. I mean, if, if there's anyone watching these videos and is missing certain cards from their, their set, just let me know in the comments and I will literally keep it aside for you in terms of commons and whatnot, whatever duplicates I got. Bruno, I'm missing that card as well. Every version of it, so that gets that out of the way. Oh, Liam. Reverse Licky Licky. Oh, nice. Rapid Strike Airship. Oh, wow. See, I'm not pretty sure which one I like more, to be honest. Maybe I like... I might like the Rapid Strike more than the Single Strike. Because, I mean, you look at the card art. It just looks way better. So right side's currently doing really well. I mean, if the left side just pulls out a gold card, then let's just say they've won. Because I don't know what the pull rate is on the gold cards at all. Um, but also, I'm only going to be giving the gold cards from the right side because the left side I'll be giving to my brother who plays the, uh, the actual uh, phone game which I don't play, so he will be getting them cards. I need the reverse for that, that helps. And I need that card as well, so that helps the ageless. But I will be giving away more cold cards at the end, as usual. So we're nearly halfway through the right side. I'm hoping this won't be a long video. I am trying to race through them to uh, make sure the video isn't too long. Um, but yeah, what I'm planning on doing from pretty much from tomorrow or maybe from Wednesday is start an episodic gameplay of uh, a oops, just need a killing look train and shaking the camera. Good start. Um, I don't need that. I thought I did. I'll be starting an episodic gameplay of a game that I play called Tibia, but nice reverse version of a card that I need. Um, and it's a Pokemon version of it. I don't know if anyone watching this ever, as a, has ever heard of Tibia. There we go, I'll get my words out. But there's a, uh, a Pokemon version of it that I will be playing and posting episodes. Pretty much, I think I'll be doing daily ones. They'll be probably 45 minutes to an hour long. Um, it's something that I'm not really too fussed if it gets viewed or not because it's something I enjoy doing. And just like these videos, they will be unedited raw content because no I'm not lazy I just feel that like I need that steel it's card nice I also need the scent scorch nice I can't ever say that word scent is scorch there we go um, but I do feel like keeping the footage raw definitely helps in terms of the raw emotion of the video so if you know, if I'm editing the video all of a sudden, I've, I'm adding music over whatever I'm saying, it kind of gets in the way. But I will be posting probably daily of the episodes. I'm looking to probably do, like I said, 45 minutes. I need that as well. Nice. Stone, oh, I can never say that, Stone Jonah. I think everyone struggles saying that. Um, but yeah, I will be posting that starting from tomorrow, and it will literally just be me playing the game. Um, I say earn a lot, it's me playing the game and hopefully, well I will be talking over it but I'm not quite sure whether I'll do live commentary over it or just like record after. I mean I'd prefer to do live commentary. Nice, I need that reverse. Clay doll. I'd prefer to do live commentary. I mean the game's pretty cool if you've never seen it. Um, take a take a while to about well, take a, a second of your day just to go and see OT Pokemon, which is what it will be is what will be is wow, will be called um, and it's so awesome. You literally run around with your own Pokemon, trying to, pretty much it's Pokemon but in the form of Tibia, which I'm not sure if many people actually played, but it's literally the same as the bone in your body. It's called Tibia, so nice. No, 
hollow bronze on, I'm pretty sure I need that as well. So it's a case of you level up your Pokemon, you level up yourself as well. And then depending on if you've got premium or not, you can go to different areas. But I will be getting premium on it because it just helps in the long run. I played it uh, about two or three years ago. And then <coughs> I kind of just lost all fun in it. But I will be back on it and you never know, maybe it will start helping to grow the channel. Even if by 10 views, I need that too, reverse nice. Oh, it's a duplicate, I believe. Number 51. Yeah, it's, I've got a duplicate VMAX. Damn. I mean, if anyone needs a VMAX, uh, Tapu Coco, just let me know. And I'll keep it aside for you. Still a nice pull life, but when you get duplicate VMAXs, it's pretty, pretty bleh. But yeah, back to the, the ulti Pokemon. Um, I'll be posting that up tomorrow. I'll probably re record a few episodes tomorrow and then schedule them up for posting so I don't have to constantly play every day. Um, and, oops. It will be a case of literally just playing it and having some fun. Nice. Ah. Oh. I was so hoping it was going to be the alternate art I ran into, but even then, that's still a card that I need to complete this set. I think they got the right side might have won already, to be honest. Three Vs and a V Max. Literally, the gold, the gold card's the only thing that can save the uh, right side. I don't think I'll grade any of these cards. Maybe if I get a duplicate, a duplicate Rainbow um, Trainer, because, or a duplicate Gold Houndoom, which is pretty much impossible, I guess. But I definitely won't be grading any of these. I just love it. This will be my first ever complete set that I've pulled from packs and not bought. So I might just keep buying packs. Is that reverse XP shade? Nice. Oh god, I'm gonna have so many duplicates. I think I've already got about 300, 400 cards. But I mean, it's kind of what you expect when you buy two booster boxes of a set. Uh, Talking about a set, you've got the, the new sets coming out, but I'm not too sure on how much of the new set I'll be getting because I am looking to move country uh, near the middle of the year, so around June, July time I'm looking to move to Cyprus, so I can't actually bring my cards with me. Uh, I'd have to put them in a binder and move them in a separate suitcase or something, but I still will be posting videos over there. Last pack for right side. And um, so far we've got three V's and a V Max, which is very nice. I feel like the cold cards have got something king old because all the whites have been good pulls. Are these cards upside down? Yes, they were upside down there. Yeah. Nice. Indeedy, Phoebe, I know her rainbow is awesome. I believe she's got a rainbow, let me just double check. Yeah, she's got a rainbow. The rainbow of the uh, Karina's Focus and Bruno look awesome. Bow Sprout, Reverse Heat more. Oh, Hello Orbital. Beetle. So, that's right side done. And the right side has got Tarantar V, Tapu Koko V Max, and then Urshifu Rapid and Single Strike Vs. Honestly, that's so cool. I like the Rapid Strike more than the Single Strike. But I've got the Single Strike V Max, which is a bit sucky sucky but moving to the left side let's see if I can get this gold card dude it was so cool also I was on my I was actually going through the channel yesterday like the um, analytics and whatnot and the video actually reached 100 views yesterday which is pretty cool for the first battle styles and then I'm up to 94 subscribers so we're close to the 100 and, whoops just knocked my camera close to the 150 uh, set goal for the giveaway I'm still thinking of the giveaway like item like I said, I might just do a vintage hollow. Uh, Jellison, I'm pretty sure I, I need that card too. After a bad start for the left side, I guess. But I have got a, a duplicate Dark Charizard uh, from Team Rocket Unlimited, which I will be giving away maybe at 500 subs or 250 subs. I'll show it near the end of the video, just in case some people don't actually know Dark Charizard. 
Um, I had two. I sent one for grading, and then this one's got a slight dent. So, personally, it's pretty pointless sending for grading because I know denting is something that uh, grading companies don't take lightly. They will drop it heavily because of a dent, which is understandable, I guess. Um, you wouldn't want to buy a card with a dent in because it's super damaged, but it is off the binder that I, I did purchase the binder, which is what people see me in my first video. You see me moving the cards. Um, I bought a binder from a friend of a friend, which is pretty cool. Um, and now that PSA are pretty much close to submissions, I'm holding back on some nice reverse horsey and a dramper. Um, I'm holding back on sending some cards because the ones I'm sending to CGC, I'm looking to either sell or uh, trade after being graded. And then the ones I'm sending to PSA, I'm actually looking to keep because I do like the PSA slab more. White cold card. I'm very. Uh, I think there must be the cold card colours are the same. Cheryl, come on, give me a, a rainbow. Come on. Let me out. Slowpoke. Yampa. Oh, nice. Single strike mustard. Full art, I guess, yeah. 163 out of 163. Come on. What a pull. Trainers are always lately, in, in the sets that pretty much do not have a Charizard, I'm under the impression that trainers are the one of the best. I mean, obviously, Shining Star V kind of throws that deep in the ocean because the Marnie card is just absolutely sought after. I did say I wouldn't give the code cards for these, but I'll probably stop now because that's about 20 or 25 code cards. And I know my brother does want some. But yeah, the Marnie from Shining Star V is so sought after. And I was watching um, BC Pack. Nice. BC Packs. Um, he's, he's actually pulled two of their Marnies now from the Japanese Shining Star V. And I'm so tempted to buy a box for myself to open on the channel. I might, I might do it uh, at the end of the month because I do love the Japanese cards. And I do need to send, oops, I do need to send a um, Charizard and Reshiram, I believe. Uh, tag Team card in, Rainbow, Liquid on Nice, and a Mimikyu V, which I've already got. So if anyone does want a Mimikyu V, again, let me know and I'll keep it aside with your name on. And we can discuss getting it to you from there. Right, we're not looking at the cold card anymore. I just lied to myself because it's the first card. Right, so no more cold cards because they're my brothers. Oops, Liam forgot the card trick. Four, come on, fighting. Ah, oh, dang it. Hold back. Indeedy, indeedy. Bronzo. Spoink. Roly Coley. Reverse Colossal. I need a Colossal actually. Age of Slash. I actually need Age of Slash as well, so it's fine. The side was just something, you know. But yeah, anyway, back to the me talking about going through my channel and looking at the uh, the stats and whatnot. I uh, I think it. I seeing on there that sixty six percent of the people. Oh, fighting energy, man. Sixty six percent of the people that watch my uh, videos aren't subscribed, and you probably hear this in every single video. But it would be nice if people that Prime Ape, well, OG, OG Pokemon, um, you know, people that are watching these videos to subscribe. I mean, even if you aren't a fan of Pokemon, but are a fan of, I don't know, the journey of getting somewhere on YouTube and starting a little community, it'd be nice to have a bit more. And we are really close. I said really close. We're only 60 subscribers away from the first giveaway on this channel. Which is going to be a card that I will announce on Instagram. Nice reverse weeping bell. I do like getting the, the uh, reverse cards to be honest. Because like I said earlier it helps towards the master set. But yeah. Um, I announce. Will be announcing my giveaway on Instagram. What, what I will be giving away anyway. Um, and... I will make sure that 
shipping is covered wherever in the world you are. So I'm looking to do every 150 subs, I'll be doing a giveaway. So 150, 300, 450, 600, so on. But I'll still be doing, well, it's really nice. I'll be doing a 500, like every 150, and then every 500 I'll be doing a giveaway. Like it will just be like old school cards. It won't just, it won't be, here's a booster box. I mean, I guess I could like, yeah, here's a, a free pack opening it on Instagram Live or whatnot, but it's just nice to give back to a community that's so welcoming. I mean, I obviously used to love Pokemon growing up, but I, I was kind of lost interest of it um, during high school and college and uni, and then got back into it. Oh, that is a beautiful card. Wow. Look at the art on that. That's so cool. That would be really cool as a... Uh, a, um, a full art, I guess. Uh, is that a hollow bleed? Am I losing my head? I could just be losing my head, but I'm pretty sure that's a hollow bleed. I'll keep that to the side. I don't think that's supposed to look like that. Because if you look at the Orbeetle one... Oh no. Huh. I guess I'll just put it in the pile then because I thought it was a bleed, but I guess not. Oh no, I think the left side is lost. Unless you class the trainer card as a better than the VMAX. Um the left side's losing and it's got like six packs left. But yeah, be sure to uh, put in the comments what if you're liking the uh Battle style set. I know that a lot of people weren't because there's not exactly a massive chase card, but there is so many cards. There's like gold hound dooms, there's rainbow. The amount of rainbows is amazing, especially the rainbow trainers. You've got what? One, two, three, four, six rainbow trainers. And the single strike mustard Cheryl Bruno looks amazing. Like as a. As a uh, oops, cards are upside down, Liam. As a rainbow. And there's a gold version of the, the trainers as well, which is pretty cool. Frillish, Houndor, Reverse Bronzong, and Polyon V, not the ultimate art. Dang it. That would have definitely won it if it was the ultimate art. So, you know, we're nearly, nearly equal on the left and right side. But, yeah, if uh, you guys are looking for any different sets to be opened, please do comment and let me know. Like I said, I am looking to buy a box of Shining Star V. I've ordered a mystery box, actually, which is going to be pretty exciting. It's a Japanese one. Um, and going off the description, there's an oopsie. There's not much in terms of card content, but there is a lot of Japanese content, like, to do with Pokemon and whatnot. So I'm looking forward to actually opening that. Edge slash Reverse. Reverse? Wow. Reverse. Um, I'm looking forward to opening that. It should come this week or next week, but whenever it comes, I will do a video on it. So yeah, I'm excited. I do like mystery boxes, but there's a lot of people that will pay a bit for a mystery box and then expect like a base set Charizard and it's like, you, you've got to be real, like, it's a bit of fun, mystery boxes. I will be getting some more mystery boxes, just not expensive ones, just little fun ones. I mean, I would have gone, ooh, reverse escape, I think you said escape goat, like, from Yu-Gi-Oh, that's what I love, I love to open Yu-Gi-Oh on this channel, I would, with Phalanx again. Um, the, I ordered a, wow, well, sorry, I opened a mystery box from Etsy uh, about three months ago. Cost me, I think, £60. Um, and it was Japanese-based. Had really cool Japanese packs and Japanese cards. That's where I got the Koga Zoo back from, or Koga's whatever back. They all look the same. So yeah, I do like mystery boxes. Reverse bow sprout and Corv Knight V Max. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we're equal. We're technically equal now, left and right. The trainer, mustard, good old mustard, might have swayed it to the left side. Two more packs now, and we genuinely are really equal. Two, three, four. They mess up my floor. 
is amazing. Glossal, Bruno, Mustard, Silly Cobra, Mr. Mime, Bellsprout, Onyx. Onyx is so cool. Spearow, Reverse, Sherry, and Victory Bell. Right, can we get some last pack magic? A rainbow here would be absolutely awesome. If this pack pulls a rainbow, oh, I'll go insane. I will go insane. You know what? I'll give the code card for the last one. Don't be green. Do not be green. Do not be green. Oh, I still think that the colors mean something. Come on, we've got a psychic energy. Dang it. Bruxis, Carving Iron, Swordwood and Shilbert, Glamiel, Corfish, Scatterbug, Cubone, Micro, a Reverse Center Scorch, and. Uh, I mean, I need Houndoom anyway, I need him to come to carry on the set, but that was very anticlimactic, wasn't it? Right, so the left side. Carving out V, Max Empoleon V, Mimikyu V, and a single stripe mustard. So, I, st I feel like mustard's probably put it in in the favour of the left side. But let me go in the comments who do you think won left or right side? So, right side you've got Urshifu, single strike, rapid strike, uh, Tapicoco V Max, and Tarantar V. And then left side you've got Mustard, Mimikyu V, Epoleon V, and Cold Knight V Max. Relatively equal sides. And I will try and find the Dark Charizard for the next video that I'll be giving away at probably 250 subs or 500 subs. But yeah, as I said earlier, only 66% of the people watching the video are not subscribed. Like, if we can drop that down to even 65%, it'll mean the world because, you know, against a couple of subscribers, you just can't go wrong with it. means more of an outreach, and I don't know, it just makes, personally, it just makes me feel like I'm actually getting some people to enjoy the content instead of just clicking through it. Um, but yeah, as I said at the beginning of the video, I will be posting episodic gameplay from tomorrow I believe, I hope anyway of the OT Pokemon and they give it, they, they give you pretty much every starter in, the, in all the gens so if you'd like me to have a separate character to do a starter Pokemon say like one of you want me to do Charmander someone wants me to do Squirtle just let me know in the comments and I'll make it happen so I'm hoping by the end of this week I'll have seven episodes up for that. Like I said, even if there's one view a day, as I I enjoy that game. I've been playing it, like I've been playing Tibia for 15 years nearly, and I just enjoy it that much that I really don't care if it gets viewed or not because I love the I love the game, and this version of the game kind of got me enjoying Pokemon again, um, which I didn't think it would do. But yeah. Thanks for watching guys, uh, leave a like, a comment, anything you want, anything nice, anything constructive to criticise about the video, just let me know. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see in the next video, like a, a, a new pack or maybe some matchless fighters, anything on Instagram, just follow my Instagram, again my link will be in the description, um, it's at algebreaks I believe, um, I'll, be, I'll be posting up there on how my giveaway will be will be completed um, and also future videos or any pulls that I get that won't be on video so for example if I just like my mum usually comes back with a random pack uh, and I'll probably just open it in a video for Instagram but yeah don't forget guys subscribe as well it does help a lot and I look forward to posting the episodic games tomorrow. Uh, it'll be separate to... I believe there's a way you can set up a playlist kind of thing where I'll have my Pokemon packs pulling and whatnot. And then I'll have the... episodic gameplay in a separate 
line of videos if that makes sense hopefully it does if not then it's one of them ones it just means it look less neat on my page which is a bit worrying because uh, I like structuring a page um, but yeah I'm hoping to post that tomorrow I'll probably do like I said live commentary if I'm not doing live commentary then I'll probably do a voiceover but it'll most likely be a live commentary as I play talking about the game and how I got into the official version of the game and then how the Pokemon version game got me back into Pokemon as a whole and yeah where I plan on going through that the episodes because there is technically an end game to the game but I do actually have a character on the server already but I will be starting a brand new one tomorrow so yeah thank you guys again like comment subscribe and I will see you tomorrow or whenever you watch this I'll see you next time peace